today I hope you guys are doing well I really haven't vlogged in quite a bit of time because it has been so gloomy here lately this entire week it has been just rainy and gloomy and those days really affect my mood and it has just been a week of not seeing the sun and I just feel it in my soul and honestly when I'm not feeling the best I don't love vlogging so I've been trying to do just different videos here and there but I decided today you know we're not gonna let the weather control my video schedules. I wanted to record over the next couple of days. It's actually Friday today. I haven't done like a weekend vlog in a while, but I thought it'd be fun because my grandparents are actually in town. So we're doing a lot of family activities, getting ready this morning because we're gonna do a little mall outing today with just some of my family. My grandparents are gonna come up. I think they're gonna come see the apartment too. And I do have a few things I wanna get at the mall. So hopefully I can share a little haul with you guys of what I picked up, but. I'm really excited. It's a great day to go to the mall because it's gloomy. I was working on a video this morning that I'm posting tomorrow. So got that done. I didn't work out this morning, but I probably will work out tomorrow. I'm thinking about actually booking an F45 class. We've been doing F45 on Saturdays for a few weeks in a row at this point. And so I was thinking about booking a class, but we will see. And then tonight we're gonna go get Mexican food with my grandparents, with the whole family. And Aiden is in the office today, so he will join us for dinner later. But for now, it'll just be me hanging out with my grandparents. My grandparents live in Ohio, so they come down to Texas a couple of times a year and it's always just so much fun to spend time with them. We are actually doing a ranch weekend next weekend with our friends. I'm really, really excited for that. We haven't done that in a long time. One of our friends, his parents live on a ranch and they're really sweet and invited us out. So I think we're gonna do that. We have a group of friends in Austin and I haven't seen them since Rachel and Anna were here, which was back in January. So I'm really looking forward to spending time with them. I do think this weekend we're gonna get some sun. So maybe lay by the pool, just have a fun little restful weekend that I wanna bring you guys along for. Here is the outfit today. Definitely not the most flattering thing. I feel like I'm wearing a lot of oversized things, but I just wanna be comfy. This sweater is from Zara. I got this a while ago though, but I love it cause it's just so fuzzy and I always get cold in the mall. So I just threw this on. And then this little dress is actually technically a nightgown from Target. And it honestly does look like a nightgown, but I just wear it as a dress. I think it's cute. And then for shoes, I'm just wearing my Vejas sneakers. I got these about a month ago and I've really been liking them just for pairing with like dresses to dress things down. I think they're super cute. And at the mall today, the one thing that I really am focusing on is finding new sports bras. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but whenever you're working out with your sports bras over years and years and years, they just don't support anymore. And I've recently been like, oh my goodness, I need to get just some new supportive sports bras. And so I think I'm gonna stop by Lululemon and see if they have some. I really like their energy bra. I think that's the one I typically like. Just love Lululemon in general. So definitely wanna stop by there. And also sometime this weekend, I would really like to get my nails off because I've been thinking about this for a while. I have recently just not been a fan of having longer nails and having these acrylics, especially for when I cook, when I'm doing stuff with my plants. I get stuff stuck under my nails all the time and it's just really inconvenient. And I've also been thinking recently about just small costs that I can cut out. And this is something that's like $100 every month to do. Usually when I do a fill, it's not quite $100, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cut it out just for a little bit and see what I think. I've also been thinking about how I don't think it's the best for me sitting in there with all the fumes all the time and having all of the ingredients on my nails that are definitely not the best. I mean, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world, but they are highly toxic, I imagine. And so that's just a random thought that I think I might try to do this weekend. Aiden's birthday is also coming up. It's in the middle of May and he has just gotten me such thoughtful, sweet, very generous gifts over the last, you know, like Christmas and my birthday. He's been wanting something that is a monthly expense and it's not something that I feel like we can justify right now, but I was thinking about cutting out these and then just replacing it with that for his birthday and i just know it's something that he would really really appreciate it he would never ask me to cut these out either he doesn't care that i get my nails in but i do think that it would be something sweet to do so i'll also tell him not to watch this video so he doesn't know what i'm gonna get him for his birthday yeah that's the plan i'm gonna go ahead and meet my family at the mall and i will catch you guys later <laughs> the mall 
was so much fun to get to shop around with everyone. I figured I could share a little old school car haul of what we picked up. I ended up putting my hair back because it's just so humid today and kind of gross with the rain. So it just felt better to throw it up today. But I got everything that I wanted, including one thing that I have been wanting, just kind of a soft kind of linen-y button down shirt. I feel like all my sisters have shirts like this and I'm always wanting them when I see them wear them. I found this at Aerie. It's just this really nice kind of gauze material beige little button down. I actually think I'm gonna wear this tonight to dinner with some jeans and maybe like some heeled booties. I think it's super cute. And I also think that this would be a cute swim cover up too with denim shorts, so I picked up that. And then at Lululemon, I actually got a few different things. Like I mentioned, I was wanting some more supportive sports bras. And so I got this one, which is like heavy duty. It literally has clasps in the back. This one is the energy bra, it's the high support. And I just usually like black because I prefer to work out in black. And then I also just got the normal energy bra too. Because I feel like either of these are fine. This one's a bit more like a medium coverage. And then this one's like a high support sports bra. So picked up those. I have a lot of the line tanks from Lululemon and I like them, but sometimes I don't want that V-neck in the front. And so I got this top. This is a size six that I got it in. And I'll probably still wear a sports bra underneath this. But if I was just walking or something, I'd probably just wear it like this. But how pretty is this color? I thought this kind of berry magenta was so comfy and it's also that aligned material as well. It really makes me want to go to F45 tomorrow because I always love working out with new workout clothes. It's such a nice pick me up, but that is everything that I got. I'm going to go ahead and head home. I actually have a bit of work things and one thing that's not super inconvenient. I'll probably share more about that when I get home that I need to work on. But yeah, super fun to spend time with the family. Excited to see everyone again tonight. I am back home obviously and I wanted to share a little story time because I actually have to file a claim with my insurance now. It's the next thing on my list because I got in my first car accident that I've ever been in. And I can't even really call it a car accident. It was more so just a fender bender. And I'm obviously totally fine. The other person was totally fine, but I can't believe I've never been in an accident. And I mean, I'm really thankful for that. And this was seriously so minor. I was essentially in the left-hand lane. I was going like 20 miles per hour and someone was trying to get into my lane and they didn't see me. I think that I was just in their blind spot or something. And they just came over to get my lane and hit the right side of our car and just kind of pushed me onto the curb. And my car is really not that damaged. It's just kind of scratched on one side a little bit. We did decide to file a police report. And when the two police officers showed up, one of them happened to be a YouTube subscriber. She'd watch my videos and it honestly just calmed my nerves so much. I was so thankful. I felt like that was a God thing because I just didn't know what I was doing. I'd never been in that situation before, but we were just chatting and it ended up making the situation a whole lot better. And even though that was a very minor accident, I can't imagine being in like a really intense accident because even that just shook me up and I really felt it in the car. Like before I'd gotten out of the car, I was like, surely my car is going to be totally dented i don't have to get all this work done but thankfully it's just some scrapes and probably just like a paint job or to buff things out so it all worked out but that was yesterday so yesterday was kind of a chaotic day but i am back with my casher i think that we're gonna go for a little walk he even knows what i'm talking about when i say we're gonna go for like look at his eyes he knows um he knows, he knows a thing or two. But we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna work on that report and then we're probably gonna head over to go grab dinner with everyone. I think we're gonna go to a restaurant called Baja Grill that's over closer to my parents. So sounds good having some Mexican tonight. I think Eden's about to get home. Thank you, that was really nice. We just took cash to the dog park for a little bit and I changed into the top that I got. I really, really like it. It's so comfortable. I will definitely link this down below. I will say it runs very oversized. This is an extra small. I'm typically a small when I get tops. I don't really ever get extra smalls, but it is nice and flowy, which we love. My dark wash jeans are from Madewell.
morning. It is Saturday morning. Last night was fun spending time with family, but we are headed to an F45 workout this morning. It's gonna feel really good. We've been pretty consistent about doing the Saturday morning workouts, and so I'm excited for today's. I did end up wearing the top that I got yesterday, and I really like it. Here, I'll show you over here. I really like it because the Align tops always showed like a little bit of skin on me, but I like that this one just fully covers and i also like that it has kind of more of the straight neckline instead of the v i feel like it's just more comfortable for working out and then for leggings i'm just wearing the extra high rise align leggings which i also really like i had also shared a while ago that i switched to wearing hokas and i've really been liking them i don't remember the exact model of the ones that i got actually i think they're the kawana ones and they're really comfortable they did take me some getting used to in terms of running but i do really really like them especially for the hit workouts or just like general training like we do at F45, they're super duper comfy. Back from our workout was a great workout and we immediately just changed into swimsuits because A and I are gonna head to the pool. It's a gorgeous day because it's been so gloomy this week. I just wanna soak up as much sun as possible and get some vitamin D. So just changed into my swimsuit. These shorts I think are from Old Navy from a while ago and then I just threw on the top that I got yesterday. Also gonna bring my hat too and probably a book and just chill out for a little bit and then I think we might take capture a nice long walk after that. Just a nice chill Saturday, which is honestly what I really, really want today. I just picked up smoothies for Aiden and I because we're gonna go back to the pool but wanted a little treat. It's so nice outside. I got the Moonflower from Juice Land. This one has like banana, dates, almond milk, and protein powder. And then for him, I got the Honeyberry. He really likes berry stuff. So this just has like berry, Greek yogurt, I think, almond butter maybe. It's really good. Pool was so nice. I obviously got a little bit burnt. I didn't really reapply as much as I should have. Still feels good to get sun, but yeah, I am feeling a little bit crispy. A and I tonight are gonna go out to eat, but before then, I wanted to stop by Office Depot. This is so random, but we have been needing just a good organizer for important documents. We have had so many coming in lately between taxes and then also the incident with the car. I have stuff with the insurance claims. We also just got set up with an accountant and set up a business account. So we have a bunch of just files that I want to have labeled and really organized because right now I've just been keeping everything in a folder and it is just not the most organized thing. So I'm going to see what they have at Office Depot and then head back home and grab dinner, which I'm really looking forward to. We're going to a place tonight called Chips. They have old fashioned hamburgers and then also really good milkshakes. And so just sounded like the move tonight, something a little bit more casual. This dress is from my newly I think it's so cute. I wanted to wear it because I need to send back my clothes soon to do a new shipment. And this was something that I hadn't worn yet. So I think it's cute with the little strawberries. Sunday morning. We've been having a chill Sunday morning before church, which is at 9 30. We're going to go to the earlier service today, which we definitely prefer, but it is like sometimes it's nice just getting that extra sleep, getting to sleep in. After church, though, I'm really excited because my grandparents are in town and I would say they visit probably a few times a year. They're from Ohio. I actually did last time I went to Ohio a whole vlog if you want to watch that. I love my grandparents so much and so we're having them over tonight. I'm really looking forward to it. They haven't seen our apartment yet and they also haven't seen Mr. Cash on this trip while they've been here so they're going to come over along with my parents and Eden's going to grill out. He's been grilling out so much lately because he has gotten so good at doing especially steaks. He just cooks them so perfectly. He is quite the grill master these days. So he's going to grill out for them. We'll do some sides. Until they come over though, I do want to do a pretty deep, not a deep clean, but I want to tidy up the apartment, vacuum, get a little organized. I watered my plants this morning because trying to keep up with that these days, cash go, do some laundry, just get organized for the week to have kind of a Sunday reset, if you will. I might stop by the grocery store, want to file that paperwork, just a lot of stuff like that. And I do want to note, 
that my sunburn on my face is pretty tragic. When we were sitting outside, the sun was really only on one side. So I feel like half my face is severely, not severely burnt, but this side really doesn't have a lot of burn. So looks a little funny. Yeah, just get organized for the week though. I definitely have a busier week this week coming up. And next weekend we're going out of town, so I just want to get organized and prep for everything. Here is the outfit for today. I'm wearing both of these pieces are from Cezanne, which I love Cezanne. If I could have my entire wardrobe be from them, I totally would. They're so sweet and sent these over. I've worn this top so many times. It's just a nice little sweater situation. And then I think this skirt is so much fun for spring. I really like the colors. And these clogs I've had forever, but they're originally from Madewell. I feel like I haven't really worn these in a while, and I really, really like them. We're back from church. It was a great service. We actually ended up going to Lucky's Cafe afterwards. We've always wanted to go there after church because it's pretty close by. And it was so good. Just like a good kind of classic diner feel. So that was a lot of fun. I feel like we've been eating out quite a bit lately. That was definitely really tasty. And now I'm going to get started on all the household stuff that I want to get done. I think I'm going to start off with laundry and then move over to doing the grocery run for having everyone over tonight and then probably clean after that. I'm also gonna make some brownies, which surprisingly I've never made fully homemade brownies before. So I found a recipe that we'll try to and see how that turns out, tidy up the place and yeah. I really don't need to get a lot of stuff. I don't think I'm gonna do like my whole kind of weekly grocery shop today. I'm just gonna get stuff to make dinner tonight, but my mom is making a side. My mom is also bringing my favorite cake. It's like an Italian cream cake. It's so, so good. But since she's bringing that, I don't think I'm gonna make brownies. And so I really only need to get broccoli and then the steaks that we're gonna have and then some drinks to have. So not a ton of stuff, just a few things here and there, but it is so nice outside. I know I've said it so many times, but it's 75 degrees, it's sunny feels so, so good. I just remembered too that Branch Basics had sent me over a starter kit. If you guys don't know what Branch Basics is, essentially they sell non-toxic cleaning products and it's really simple because you just get one cleaning solution and you can use it for a bunch of different purposes. And so I think I'm actually gonna try to use their stuff today. I've been trying to switch to more non-toxic cleaning products. If you watched my spring cleaning video, I did make a lot of cleaning products that were just a lot better for you. But Branch Basics is super awesome because you don't have to make them. You can just use their solution. So we're gonna do that. They also sent me a lot of these wool balls. I've been using these in our dryer because these kind of just replace dryer sheets, which I haven't used dryer sheets for probably a couple of years now, but I also just don't really care about how my clothes feel. I don't know if this is bad, but if they're not super soft, if they don't smell, I actually prefer for everything to be unscented. It just doesn't bother me, but I know a lot of people really care about how their clothes feel, rightfully so. I mean soft clothes are nice but i'm excited to keep using these in the dryer i know people also will put like essential oils on them but i've also heard mixed reviews about that actually causing fires in the dryers so i don't know let me know if you do that let me know if you add essential oils to these too but that was really sweet i just want to say thank you so essentially you have the concentrate this is the soap and so we have an all-purpose a glass and a bathroom cleaner and it has a line that you fill with water and then a line that you fill too with soap. So you get the perfect kind of combination of both. So I'm gonna fill these up and then I'll let you guys know how I enjoy cleaning with them.
finished cleaning up and now we're starting dinner. My family's on the way right now. So excited to see everyone. It's gonna be fun. Happy Monday. Last night was so much fun. I didn't really record too much, but it was great having everyone over. I am actually doing an F45 workout this evening. And so I thought it'd be fun to do just kind of a fun thing to kick off this week. And that is going thrifting. I have been wanting to go thrifting for a while now. I feel like I haven't just checked out what different thrift stores around Dallas had. I think today I'm gonna go to Buffalo Exchange and then there's also an Uptown Cheapskate that's pretty close by. So I am on the hunt right now for just really cute kind of flowy maxi dresses. I have a few maxi dresses that I really like, but I have decluttered so much lately that I just want to kind of refresh my wardrobe. Like when I was in Free People earlier, I love Free People and I wish I could just buy the whole store, but that is just not practical for my budget. And so I thought that a thrift store would just make a lot more sense and see what they have. And I also need to return my newly that I just packaged up. So that is the game plan for this Monday. I also wanted to mention that I picked up these peony tulips from Trader Joe's. I had seen everyone talking about these and they are so gorgeous. They've been so pretty for almost a week now. I need to put some fresh water in, but they just opened up and you have to get these if you go to Trader Joe's because they're just so gorgeous. Still have my hat line from my hat I was wearing earlier, but I just left Buffalo Exchange and found a couple of really great things. But now I'm gonna head over to Uptown Cheapskate and see what they have there. Am I saying that right? Uptown Cheapskate? Skate? I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but we're gonna head over there to see what they have and then I think I will be set. I did see a lot of really cute free people stuff. I found one dress that was high-low, which I don't really think high-low is a thing anymore. I think that's kind of like a couple years ago that was the trend, but I also tried on another dress and the waist was a little bit weird in it, but I was excited just to see free people stuff. the things that I picked up. I ended up getting three dresses. The first thing is my favorite because it's this pair of overalls that's actually a dress. I used to have one of these back in the day. I feel like when I was in high school, I wore this a lot and I just thought that this was so sweet. It's a little bit oversized too, which I like with overalls. I don't like when they're super tight. And I think this would be so cute layered with like a crop top or a little tank top. It was $26 and it's the brand Mabon. I'm not sure how to say that, but super cute. I just realized it was new with tags too. And then also at Buffalo Exchange, I got this cute little mini dress and this was so comfortable. I love the little daisies that it has on it. And I think that the orange is really pretty. This is the brand Miami. This was $18. Buffalo Exchange is definitely pricier, I will say, but I do like their stuff more. I think that they do curate their brands really well at Buffalo Exchange. So I really liked that. And then at Uptown Cheapskate, that's how you pronounce it. I just saw the tag. I found this dress that's originally from Urban Outfitters. So perfect for spring, it's pastel. And this is a size medium, but I really like the colors in it. It has pink and purple and yellow. Let me know if anyone else feels this way, but I will be 25 in July. And I do feel like I'm hitting a stage where I'm past certain trends and clothing pieces. And I kind of have to assess if it's age appropriate for me. I know that you can totally wear whatever you want. I don't think you have to be a certain age to wear anything. But for me, I do find myself just feeling kind of uncomfortable wearing things now that do feel a lot more youthful. I think that those pieces are timeless though and I really like them. But I had that realization when I was looking around like I'm 25, I'm not 18 anymore. And sometimes I feel like I'm still shopping for the same clothes that I was at 18. And so it is weird when you kind of start making that jump to a new stage. That is going to be it for today's video. I just have some work for the rest of the day, so nothing too exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the last few days with me. I know it was a little bit more chill and chatty, but I just missed hanging out with you guys and felt like I hadn't vlogged in a bit. So hope you guys are all well, and we will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, friends. Bye.